when people say there's no diversity at an HBCU, like, do you understand how many different types of black people there are? Back up on my... Welcome back to my channel. As you can already tell from the title, I'm going to be telling you guys how I got into FAMU with lower test scores and a lower GPA. So stay tuned for all the tips and tricks that I'm going to be mentioning in this video to help you get into FAMU. So I was just going to do like a little informational video, but then I was like, I feel like I should do a mukbang so it doesn't feel so, so formal, you know? I feel like this should be like... I'm your sister giving y'all info like if you're a boy or a girl whoever it doesn't matter like I just want it to be like I'm telling y'all info because this is going to be straight up I'm not going to be reading off of a notepad or anything like this is just all going to be coming from my head stuff that I know that helped me get into the school so let's get started I feel like I am I feel like Zoe I'm Zoe when I'm doing this okay so this is what I have I have a brisket burrito some chips and some queso and then i have a side of macaroni if you can i have a extra side of macaroni and then i have some i don't know what this is i think it's barbecue sauce let me see yes yeah, barbecue sauce so first i guess i'll tell you guys i am currently a pre-nursing major for fall 2021 at FAMU. I'm going to be on campus. I'm an out-of-state student. I live in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Tell y'all all my business. I know on their website, well, okay, so on their website, I don't see like a an SAT score that you have to have, but it does say you have to have a 3.0 GPA. So I had a 3.4, which is terrible to me. I'm so sad about it. But for some people, that's good. I got a 3.0, good to go. But my SAT score, so I sent in two. I sent in three. So the first one I sent in was when I applied, which was a 1020. And I sent that in because that was the only score I had. I was supposed to take my SAT like two or three weeks after we got out of school for March, like when we got sent home. But we got sent home, so I was never able to take my SAT. So the only score I had was a score from sophomore, junior year, the beginning of junior. Like, literally, I took that test in December. Like, it was terrible. It was my first one because I was in a class, and they wanted us to take it for the first time and just see how we do. And I, and I did terrible. And I had to send that score in. I sent a 1020 at first, and then I took... I took a new SAT in October of this year. So October of 2020, I was able to take a new SAT and I got a 1050. No, it was way before October. This was in, no, this was in September. I, I took another one. It was a 1050. This was before we were in school. So like I wasn't doing any type of SAT prep, any type of nothing like once school got out once i wasn't able once i knew we weren't going back to school i literally gave up i was like bro there's no point of me even trying i don't know why i did that because i was doing so good like i was really ready for the sat no this is amazing okay yeah my hopes were in the trash so i really didn't think i was going to get into family anymore because my scores are so low and i was watching other people's videos and they were saying how like people were saying like 10 20s get rejected and stuff i'm like oh my i'm like oh my gosh it's over for me so i prayed a lot <laughs> what saved me y'all write this down go get a notepad and write this down got one what saved me is all the extracurricular activities that I take. I do so many. I did so many things outside of school. I did diversity club, like history month celebrations at school. Um, HOSA, I'm the secretary of HOSA. I had like 90 hours of community service. Um, a lot of other like volunteer work that I did. I had a lot of like merit scholarship awards and stuff. Merit scholar awards, not scholarships. 
and I think that really saves me like how much I did outside of school this is the worst macaroni ever Mm -mm. don't think that your gpa and that your test score are going to be the only thing you have going for you you need to have extracurricular activities okay you have a 4.0 but what do you do what uh, what about you why should they let you into the university you know but if, if you have a 4.0 i mean honestly you know just to be real with y'all if you have the grades, you're going to get in. <laughs> Just saying, pretty sure you're going to get in. I mean, I haven't really heard of anyone that hasn't gotten in when they have the scores and the grades. Just because they don't have like extracurriculars. But if you do, I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Another thing that I was stressing about is my essay. And as far as the essay goes, my essay was borderline terrible. All I did was write about how like um, my cousins moved in with me. And how I was happy for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, but I was on a Zoom call, right? With my family, they have Zoom calls every Friday or so. And they were talking about how they use a, a computer to do applications so if you have all the stuff check you get in if you don't you get sent to a committee and that's when they read your essay so i don't think they read your essay <laughs> they i don't i really don't think they read your essay until unless like they have to you know unless it's like dang should we let them in your essay is your determining factor so I wouldn't stress too hard on the essay. I mean, you want a good essay, but like, if you got all the grades and stuff, I wouldn't stress too hard. So basically, what you lack in one area, you need to make up in another. If you lack, if you lack the test scores and stuff, then you need to make that up in extracurriculars. You need to be doing stuff outside of school and your teacher recommendations yeah your teacher recommendations they probably say but too i know my teacher wrote some some good stuff about me honey i gave them to the teachers that be exaggerating well not one my french teacher she doesn't really She's an honest lady, but my my old history teacher, that man. And it was AP World. You know, they be crazy. But yeah, teacher recommendations. <coughs> what is spicy? Extracurriculars. Maybe I should have had a notepad because I'm really just pulling stuff off the top of my head. This video is so good. I'm sorry. So maybe you're wondering how much fan you cost. If you're in state, you're lucky. In state, I think it's like either five or fifteen thousand, one of them. But out of state, it's like thirty something thousand. What? Dang! That's like a huge difference. I know, like people always say, you need to have connections and stuff. See me, I don't have any connections. I don't know anyone that that goes to FAMU. Well, I mean, now I do since, like, I'm in group chats and stuff. But, like, before, like, it was just me watching YouTube videos, just trying to, like, figure out how I'm going to get in, not knowing anybody, not having any connections or anything. 
So, I mean, you really don't have to have connections. You're just going to have to work a lot harder than some people. And you need to you need to be on that website, looking at updates, be on the social media, making sure you don't miss deadlines, making sure you see, like, when they're having Zoom sessions and stuff. Because I think that was a great idea because they had, like, Zoom meetings, informational meetings, and they would talk about each major departments financial aid stuff and they would only be like an hour or two and then afterwards you can you can literally like you can wait like when everybody leaves and then he'll stay and you can ask questions and stuff so that's one thing i like a lot even if you don't have a question, stay. Because people were asking stuff that I didn't even think about. And I was like, mmm. You know, like, I didn't even think about that. So, like, if you don't have a question, stay. But I always go on their social media. And maybe y'all are wondering, Armaya, why do you want to go to FAMU? The good one. <laughs> One is Florida. I live in Michigan. I'm not staying in Michigan. I'm tired of being cold, you know? I don't like snow. I don't like winter. Only thing good about winter is you don't sweat your head out your hair out. Other than that, what, what's the point? What's the point? And there's no bugs, but like I mean I don't know. But yeah, um, is florida they have a very good nursing program that's another thing um i wanted to go to an hbcu in general because like i don't think people understand like okay i've been to diverse schools my whole life like different races and stuff you you have to understand like black people are diverse themselves there's so many different types of black people you know i hate when people say there's no diversity at an HBCU, like, do you understand how many different types of black people there are? You know? My stomach hurt. Hmm. This was five dollars and it's so bad. It's so bland. I originally wanted to go to Howard, right? But then I was like, Washington DC even though, I mean, it is a different state, but I feel like I've been there before. And it's just like, I just want something totally different. I want to see alligators, you know? I want to get chased by an, I'm not going to say that, but you know what I'm about to say. I'm not going to put that in, 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 the, in the atmosphere. Because <laughs> I'll be terrified, but, you know? It's just so, it's Florida, you know? But I am an out-of-state student. I don't know if it's harder to get in when you're out-of-state. Or what? But I'm family 2025. Wait. Yeah, I'm family 25. And... So yes, I pay my enrollment deposit. <clears throat> I know y'all hear this train. Like, where are y'all even going? It's them trains that don't be having nothing on them. What are you doing? Um, another thing, if you're um. If you're already in family and you're watching this or something, like you just happen to come come across my video and you want to be friends, hit me up. We have a family 25 group chat. There's a group me and then there's like an iMessage group chat that I'm in. Um, let me know. I can see if I can get you added. You know. Cool people. Cool people. I'm just excited to leave be in college. Hopefully I can go to college. I'm pretty sure I am. Spring semester is going back. 
so I'm pretty sure we're going back. They're getting tested though, they have to get tested. Housing was supposed to open some one of these days in October. It was October something. No, it was November. It was November something, I'm sorry. They've been hyping us up, like saying, get ready for housing, get ready. And we're excited. The group chat is excited. We're like, yes, it's opening. We're going to get the door we want. We're so excited. So 12 o'clock comes and we're on there. It's not open. So we're like, okay, we wait a little. I'm not waiting past 1 a.m. So 1 a.m. is not on there. I go to sleep. So I have school in the morning. So I wake up at 7 and I go on there. Still not there. I'm like, okay, maybe they just have a late start. Mm -hmm. 9 o'clock. Still not there. That's like, that was very unprofessional of them. They ended up posting on their Instagram that housing is postponed. It's been a month and there's still no update. Like, what is it postponed for? I'm so confused. It's fall. It's fall housing. What is it postponed for? I'm so confused. I, mean, I don't think it's fair for the people who purposely applied early so that they would be accepted in time to be able to get housing i don't think that's fair at all and i don't want to like get in trouble or anything with the school thinking i'm bashing them or something because i'm not i'm not i'm just saying like what what i'm just i just, I just feel like there should be a little bit more communication in that era you know i'm sorry if the background noise is loud i'm running further like my window it's raining and cars keep going by the trains keep coming by if you guys want me to vlog while I'm at FEMU, I'm going to be taking a tour on January 12th, then let me know. I'm probably going to do it anyways, but I mean, let me know. I hope this video was somewhat informational for you guys. Even though I was kind of all over the place, I probably should have had like a notepad or something, but it was more real if I did it. Like if I was just reading off of a notepad, then I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have felt like I was giving you guys like the rawness from my heart from my mind if you have any questions make sure you guys leave them down in the description box or you can dm me on instagram and i'll make sure i get back to you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video